I tested 11 new custom GPTs and ranked them from one star to five stars to see if they could improve my life. First one we're gonna check out is called Write For Me. Write tailored, engaging content with a focus on quality, relevance, and precise word count. Okay, I've heard about precise word count before. GPTs that can write 3000 words, yeah, right. Just click this one and see what is gonna happen. If it actually can do this, I'll be extremely satisfied or surprised. It's actually writing a really long intro here that is supposed to be 300 words. Let's just take the intro, exactly 375 words. And then it wrote the second part. Let's check how long that one is. It was supposed to be 500. It does look really long and it's also sectioned into all these different sub headlines, which is great. Okay, 423 words. And I guess if I just write continue, it will just keep writing. So this prompt that they have here and this custom GPT is actually working out pretty well. This one, 482 words. I've never seen anybody come close to hitting that amount of words. As you can see, 500 words was what we aimed for. So I actually believe that I would use this if I would write a longer piece. And remember that we are ranking them versus just normal ChatGPT. I'm confident giving it an A. The second we're gonna take a look at is called Logo by logosgpts.cn, senior brand logo design expert, 20 year of brand logo design experience, designer material feeding training. Did you use ChatGPT to write this? Okay, let's try to be creative with the logo here. I have a business that automates everything in a person's life, including breathing, walking, talking, sleeping, everything you can imagine. Can you make a logo for me? All right, let's send the message. Here you go, based on the inside design principles extracted from the documents and logo examples you provided, they give a prompt for Dolly and this is the massive prompt and I have my own prompting technique. Okay, there we go. It does actually encapsulate everything that we talked about, but let's actually compare it with ChatGPT. So I'm gonna say the exact same prompt, paste it into normal ChatGPT. Oh, there you go. It looks even cooler. This is the custom GPT. And this is normal chat GPT. Custom GPT. Normal GPT. I'd actually go with normal chat GPT and with a basic plot, maybe for a specific use case. But for me, this is a three star. Number three, escape the haunt. Monetize your AI agent or GPT by recommending products to your users. Look, Ionic can configure any AI agent regardless of the use case and unlock massive monetization opportunities for developers. For example, this could be your chatbot. As you can see, I asked it, I'm looking for the best MagSafe power bank that I can buy. And just like that, it gave me all these recommendations. And it's safe to say that people love to buy without being sold. The best part is if anybody clicks on this link on your GPT, it's integrated with millions of affiliate products. So if they buy, you make money. Perfect for agent creators and GPT builders. You can easily configure and customize your chat. Not only does it work for tech, you can also do interior design. What about a nice dad chair recliner? Let's see what it says. Look at this, five different dad chairs. Do you want any of them? Jeez, I love this one. It's free for you to use because they use a rev share split model. So go to Ionic in the link in the description to start monetizing your AI agents and GPTs. Thanks to Ionic for sponsoring this section of the video. Number three, Escape the Haunt, a text bait haunted hotel escape adventure by Matthew Slitch. I think I actually seen this guy on X. Yep, the guy is a good follow. Let's just try the quick start here. Explore this spooky hotel, your journey starts now. The goal is to solve the mystery of the haunted hotel and find the secret key to escape. Remember, there are monsters and traps that could harm you. And you start with 100 health, no weapons, just your clothes. Every action could lead you closer to escape or danger. What do you want to do next? Personally, I really like things or games like this. There was another one called something pirate adventure from Peter nomad list. And if you want to actually see me complete this entire game, comment down below haunted house. It seems like other people have given it four by four stars on one K plus ratings. This is way better than ChatGPT itself because you would have to write this mega prompt in order to make this game. Let's make it the first S. Fourth one we're gonna check out is called the Stoic Council. Chat with the Stoics, Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus. If you don't know, Marcus Aurelius was one of the most famous Roman emperors. 
and people to this day come back to him for his lessons that he learned and shared in his book Meditations that was written 2000 years ago. Let me ask it a kind of complex modern question, right? I am a YouTuber that wants to get to 1 million subscribers. Even though I love making YouTube videos, sometimes I procrastinate. What would you recommend? As you can see, Epictetus is saying, the journey towards 1 million subscribers, you are encountering one of the greatest challenges that individuals face at some points, the struggle between desire and action, between aspiration and motivation. This is a common human condition where even though one might love their craft or goal, the day-to-day -day efforts to achieve it can sometimes feel overwhelming. This is where the wisdom of stoicism can illuminate the path. A lot more detailed than ChatGPT usually would just say bullet point one, two, three, four, five, and some generic answer. Also gives a practical technique from stoic philosophy, as well as a quote here from the book Epictetus Discourses. The essence here is not to see your goal as distant, daunting peak, but as a series of steps, each within your power to climb, your struggle is not with the 1 million subscribers, but with what you choose to do today in this moment to move towards that goal. For me, this is easily a five star, mainly because I can use the principles of stoicism instead of using, I don't know what principles ChatGPT is <laughs> under right now. At least for me, it turns everything a little bit more personal, a little bit more specific, and it's a great lens to view the world through. The fifth one that we're gonna check out is called Browser Pro. I haven't checked out one of these browser ones in a bit, and it says it provides 3x accurate responses, read any links, PDF videos, etc. You can even create 10 plus types uh, like mind maps, spreadsheets, and search derived contents. Let's see, can you search on YouTube and give me the top three ranking videos for the search keyword ChatGPT? Yeah, I'm gonna click on start, there you go. Why and when you should use Claude 3 over ChatGPT? <laughs> hey, I just made a video about that. Claude Free, another large language model. Hey, shout out to Igor. Hey, that actually worked really well. Read back to you the messages. We've been Amazing, Matt Wolf four days ago. I am actually pretty impressed. You wouldn't be getting this good of a result. Normal ChatGPT. What about, can you find me the top three most recent articles about AI on TechCrunch? Okay, let's see. Here we go. Anti-AI sentiment gets big applause at South by Southwest 2024 as movie maker dubs AI cheerleading as terrifying bullshit. Okay, we got three really good links and I really like how they're summarized right here in the chat for us and also if they are the most recent. So you see that is today, really good. That is yesterday, does seem like it is very recent. Like this bring face and voice cloning to any app. How come these guys look f cloned? <laughs> First app ever created by AI that are trying to act like human. That's gonna happen in the future for sure. Hey, on the two tests that I did, I was pleasantly surprised. And I know that if I would do this on normal ChatGPT, I wouldn't get this detailed of an answer. But I think this fits well into a A tier or four stars. The next one we're gonna check is one of the ones that are on programming Python. I always kind of find it hard to test these, right? How do I really know if it's better than normal ChatGPT? Well, I guess we should just test, right? A normal test is a snake game. Today, we're gonna change it up, baby. Can you code a habit tracker for me? It should have five slots horizontally where I can write what my habit should be. And to the right of it, there should be checkboxes that I can tick off every day. And if I tick off all five in one day, it plays a ding sound. It starts by doing the framework, layout, signed, playback, and now it's writing the code for me. Then actually moves into the full code here and starts doing the interpreter. Maybe it's even gonna give us a download file. Oops, a little error right there. You go the most important part, it attempts to play the sound file named ding.wave. Here we go, next step, testing, customization. If you need the complete script, let's just copy and paste, huh? Actually say, write the full code for me to copy and paste. Let's make a new pi file called the habit ding.py. Paste the code in here. I need to install pi game. I need to download a ding.wave, royalty-free ding sound. 
Ooh, change it over to ding.mp3. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Let's change the code as well. Save it and run. And just like that, we have our little habit tracker. That's not bad. Habit one, brush teeth, eat clean, work out, yada, yada. But does it have the ding? Let's see. Ding. There's no ding included. No dings. Oh, okay, it works <laughs> the different way around. All in all, this was pretty epic and it's really useful. Let's listen to that ding again. Oh, yo, yo. Yeah, it's, we're having some issues, but one prompt, hey, that's not bad. Again, how can I judge this versus normal chat GPT, especially on such an easy programming? Well, we just give it the exact same prompt. I'm such a genius. I know you don't care for waiting, so. Okay, it wrote it a lot shorter. Let's try running it. It's like play sound Need to install and let's try again still having issue I couldn't actually download the install play sound let's try again it's not gonna work i'm not gonna try to fix this that might be my computer or my skills i'm or from a programmer also tested some other custom gpts based around programming and they usually perform really well so this one to me five stars the next one is image to text to image so this one analyzes photos describes them and then generates new images so i kind of wanted to test out on this photo here that i did yesterday this is the thumbnail i made let me just show you real quick basically me holding my hands up and i mean it's kind of hard to create and i'm gonna prompt it create a new image from this photo it seems like it starts by kind of describing new large hands what call my hands large on the person's forehead there is a colorful symbol resembling a letter m in the shape of a heart <laughs> yep <laughs> are you sure about that okay let's try again this one is of me 100 articles in the back and let's drag that one in here turn this image to text to image okay this was it does it look the same i mean it got kind of the things correct but in my opinion it's not the gpt it's just this method like taking an image, turning that into text, and then turning it into an image again will never actually give you the result you want. At least from my experience, I always just prompted very basic stuff. Yeah, like this one too decent, but don't use this. Also, when we're gonna compare it to normal ChatGPT, is this the first two star? It might just be me, but I don't really like many of the image custom GPTs. They just seem exactly the same as normal chat GPT. If you found them to be way better, can you comment down below and tell me why you use a custom GPT instead and if it's way better for you? As you can see for me, I just get large hands. This one I want to check out is called Board Game Architect. I help design custom board games with creative and practical advice. So. I know that you're probably not a board gamer. Maybe you are. I love board games. But in particular, I love making my life into a game. So if I were to make a board game around my life, it would be around filming videos, editing thumbnails. So let's ask, can you make a board game that is around making YouTube videos, includes getting ideas, filming, editing, thumbnails, and publish. And try to make it into an idle game where you also build a team where you get more and more autonomy. Okay, let's check out how that prompt is gonna go. Title, Tube Tycoon, the board game. You're a content creator competing to become the ultimate YouTube sensation. Ooh, start as a solo creator and build your way up to most famous influencer with a dedicated team. Okay, we even got game components. This is really good if you're actually supposed to make this. And turn sequence can be idea generation, content creation, thumbnail publishing, team building. Okay. Idle mechanic is once you have recruited team members, you can assign them to a task that allow you to take certain actions automatically. Ooh. Can I ask it to create an image? <laughs> you have it. No way. So this is my life, huh? To put this into a book. I'm guessing, of course, that this actually doesn't function well. I just can't wait until ChatGPT gets so good that it will actually be a playable game. As far as I'm concerned with this ChatGPT, it's like a perfect board game architect, really. And I would way rather use this compared to normal ChatGPT because I bet it has some game mechanics or rules that makes it even more fun. Five stars. Next, I wanna test out this sales trainer, sales coach, advisor. Really gonna teach me on sales techniques, discovery and recognition, interview questions. So the questions here being train me on 
negotiation. Oh, spelling. <laughs> if I am hating on grammar, ChatGPT just knows everything I'm gonna say, even without grammar. Either way, let's say this, right? I help people use AI tools to become more productive. I don't sell any product, but I do give away free videos on my YouTube channel. I guess that's sales in a sense. Can you help me sell my videos better? Okay, absolutely. Selling your videos, even if they're free, involves promoting your content and engaging with your audience in ways, yada, yada. It's my unique selling proposition. And then it basically gives me this copy paste stuff that I've already seen before. Honestly, this might not even be the GPT itself, but ChatGPT kind of started using Claude when it comes to questions like this. This is a little bit more unique. And also Gemini from Google is quite good at brainstorming things like this. So just from one prompt, I don't think it's gonna be better than normal ChatGPT. Would just rather use normal ChatGPT and be more creative in my prompt. Did we just do like a bingo or something like that? Four in a row. The last one that I'm gonna check out is called Soccer Match Outcome Predictor, okay? And I do believe this can be really good because they have relevant data points, right? So you can see your score prediction for today's X team versus Y team. The probability of X team, Actually, let's take the one that's gonna piss the most people off. What is your prediction for Argentina versus Portugal? In their most recent friendly match, Portugal edged out Argentina with a one to zero victory thanks to a goal by Raf in the 19th minute. Portugal is, Portugal is currently on a solid run, having won their matches against Armenia and Denmark, while Argentina is also in good form Given the tight defense strategies, yada yada, the match would very well end in a draw or a narrow win for either side. But seriously though, oh, it actually won't. <laughs> it won't give me a straight answer scent wise. It actually give it a 50-50 chance. Let's do Liverpool versus Chelsea. Actually, if you are a football fan, it seems pretty fun to talk about the match with it. It's so knowledgeable. It's giving a lot of different sources and actually giving it a lot of good points here. So how do I actually rank this based on usability? It feels a lot better than ChatGPT, but of course it's predicting. So all predictions are hard. I'm gonna put it in a four star. Did I miss any of your favorite GPTs? Drop them in the comments below. I really love making videos like this, but I don't wanna make too many, only the ones that I think are new and interesting. Subscribe to the channel for that. All my links in the description, and I'll see you in the next video.